Bay, and happy Wednesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get right to our Get Smart projects. So the first one is coming from Nissan in uh, class 222. I hope it doesn't fall. So this is a project on George Washington. You can see George right in the center there. So this is nonfiction. This is true. This happened. So George Washington was our first president. And so what Isan has done is behind these post-it notes, which one just fell off, it's given us fun facts about George Washington. So, for example, George Washington is the first president of the United States. And I love how neat the handwriting is as well. How about this? George Washington was the first to sign the Constitution. So here's something interesting. Why don't you look at the Constitution that you made for your class? Who was the first person to sign the Constitution in your class? Hmm, that would be something interesting to look at. And so another thing um, that was indicated is that George Washington did not live in the White House. Well, why do you think that is? Hmm, see if you can figure that out. Now, the other project I have tonight is a book that was written by Elsa in our first grade. And it's about a place to play. So it's about the playground and it's illustrated with the ladder, the climbing equipment, and all the different things. You can go on the swings, uh, the uh, that big spider web. So this is a nonfiction also because it's true. Yes, this is a place that you can play and it was the first book written by Elsa. Nice work. All right, now getting to our Wordle. So we know that this is the most used vowel and we learned that these two letters Oh, no, that's not, that's incorrect. These two letters are the same, and it's the most used consonant. All right, now it's beginning to shape up. Okay. So these three letters, uh, sorry, four letters, one, two, three, four. That's a suffix. So is this, a suffix is something that goes on the end of a word that adds to the meaning. So... This suffix means to be full of, to be full of. This suffix means to be full of. It means to be full of this word, to be full of this word. Oh, let's see. That's, a, that's an interesting one. We'll have one more clue for tomorrow. All right, our mystery number so we know that these are both homonyms. We know that they're both even. We know that this one is greater than this one. Okay, listen carefully. This number has two homonyms. This number has three. I'm sorry, I said that... Uh, one homonym. So this number has two additional homonyms. This number has one additional homonym. All right. Time for a mighty combo on the day. Let's get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So the mighty kind moment of the, uh, of the day is a shout out to Mason in room 208, who does so much by helping to translate. So Mason speaks English and Spanish. And he is very helpful to lots of kids in his class, but also in our school, on his own time. And somebody noticed and told me about it. So I'm giving a shout out to Mason, because that's super duper money kind. He doesn't have to do that, but he does it, because that's what's in his heart. And that's what it is to be mighty kind. And everybody can. And why? Because you're a mighty mind. And you're a mighty kind, mighty mind. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.